Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the Steins Gate Zero anime. Today is episodes 15, 16, and probably 17. Uh, I'm recording this a bit later than normal, so really it'll depend on how I'm feeling at the end, if I do 17 or not. Obviously you guys know if I did 17 or not, because it'll be in the title. Um, don't have a ton to say. Um, looking forward to these episodes, but... Um, Let's just jump right into it. No reason to waste any time, especially if there's a, a potential time concern. Dude, she is having nightmares. Jeez. She's going to have a talk about that. New intro time again. This one's so different. Kind of miss the game's intro. The game's intro was really good. So I want to feel so much more energetic. Which isn't necessarily bad, but... This song actually fits really well, like lyric-wise. This is like a hundred percent like this is basically Okabe's thoughts. And it's pretty glaring actually. <laughs> Shorter than the suitcase. Oh man. It's funny. Cap. That's Cap. No. Uh, they found her. They found her already. That's Cap. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> I 
<laughs> You're a coward. Hey, cut out. Trying to claim that she's like, he's failing, so she's fading away from the timeline. Oh God. Oh my god. <laughs> What's it about? What's it about? I'm worried he's just fishing for information from him. That's unfortunate. I hear he's gonna pretend that's fine, but he's gonna be disheartened. At least they didn't make it so that Maho's trying to keep it a secret that she's even here. What the heck? <laughs> Even my wake up pitched in, what the heck? Cat. The no shoed wonder.
Oh God! What are what are they wired to his brain? I guess y'all will see it in a second. What the heck? Oh, it went away. He hypnotizing him. <laughs> what this? Oh my God! Is that believe me playing? Was that the start of Believe Me? He's gonna he's gonna mess this up so bad. I'm betting. Hey, what is this music? This is like jazz music. What is he wearing? The usual. <laughs> What is this? You're too fake. So fake. <laughs> I don't, she's not gonna like how fake this is. I wouldn't be surprised if Yuki's uncomfortable with this. Really? What the heck? <laughs> no, it does seem like she actually might be uncomfortable with this. Hey, cool out. No. They cut it out there. Y'all are foul. Wait. Did he fail there? Was he not able to ask? Yo! Oh, that's foul! It was too fake, it wasn't really dark. Dang, poor Daru. Congrats, your plan backfired. That backfired hard. Golly. Yeah, you guys did. Did I just let Daru be Daru? He'd, he'd get it eventually. Apparently. Oh no, is this going to be like her mom dying? Oh my god. We didn't actually see that happen in Science Gate Zero. Oh no, that's horrible. Oh my god. Gee. 
I can definitely see how you'd blame yourself after that. God, poor Susa, huh? Jeez, he went too far. It's really not being selfish to being himself this time. I don't think it's selfish to not want to feel rushed into a, a relationship like that. Figure it out, I guess. He wants the big, fat, dorky nerd. Oh, jeez. Go, go, Curry. Oh, no. Are they going to be awkward during the movie again? Oh, no. They're not doing the awkwardness this time. I'm going to do the prolonged awkwardness. That'd be nice. But it's doing a quick 180. Oh, wait, does she step in front and is looking at him in the face, I guess? Thank you or something, bro. Still spying. What the heck? That's, that might be the weirdest <laughs> confession I've ever seen. I think of you and feel more and more good. <laughs> what the heck? Y'all gotta listen to that, please. If you're not following along, you gotta find that clip. That was too funny. What the heck? Yeah, that's right. She was stalking you the whole time. Oh, snap. Oh, boy. He's totally just gathering info right now. 
He's gathering info about something. Jeez, man. Oh, man. Jeez, she's crying hard. <laughs> Dora's right there. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I think the anime classes and he just clenched his fists. I'm sorry, that looked so like stereotypically anime. Jeez. She ever just like I mean when was the last time she just got a hug from her mom? That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my god, she finally got like time with her mom, that's so nice. And now it's mission time, I think. Now that her like last distraction is gone. Oh hey Kagari. Man, everybody's a spy today. Why is she sh why is she so shook? I actually listened to the ending song a bit again this time. Uh, the ending song is pretty good, especially like the lyrics and stuff. Or maybe I should have made, paid a little more attention to the lyrics of the the fir the original songs, but uh, I really like the lyrics of this one. Um, I like these two; like they're both really good. Um, I feel like I overall probably like the original ending a little more, especially with how. Uh, good that like animation was in the first one but the second one is really good too even if the animation is pretty lame um for the most part um it felt like kind of another filler slash fluff episode but at the same time steins gate zero is just trying to fill in a lot of the gaps with the first steins gate uh so i don't really mind that they take the time to cover this kind of stuff I'll admit, I looked in the comments on Crunchyroll, and I, I'm not putting too much stock in the comments, but a lot of people seem really disappointed 
with this season so far. Um, of like, you know, we're just with Steins Gate Zero, but I think, I mean, the whole thing is they're trying to tie a whole bunch of the loose threads from the first Steins Gate. Um, so I don't mind them taking the time here, but I mean, at the same time, they, they have used a lot of kind of, I guess, like filler, fluffy episodes. I don't, I don't mind much, but I mean, we're at episode, what, 16 now? It feels like we haven't gotten a ton of like super crazy stuff, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with slow burns or like, uh, just slower stuff in general, more character building. That's not a problem to me. Um, just something I've noticed, I guess. Um, I really don't have a problem with it. It seems like a lot of people do, but I'm not particularly one of them. But I don't have a ton to say about that episode. Um, actually, I will say I do really like how they resolved. Excuse me. Um, I liked how they resolved. Um, the Daru and Yuki situation here a lot more than I think I did in the VN. Um, with the whole awkward, like, I don't know how he feels about me, and he was just being awkward Daru, like, always. Um, I really liked that they actually worked through it, and I I, I kind of liked the, the scene of them, like, I guess, making him someone he's not, right? Maybe some, like, you know, lady killer, just to prove that's not what Yuki ever wanted. She just wanted Daru in his bat weeb self which i mean sounds weird but i guess some people think that's nice maybe she didn't like the fat part but is a <laughs> weeby self right i mean it's a pretty distinct personality um anyways we're gonna go ahead and jump right into episode 16 i'll tell you at the point at infinity Oh, are we getting to the point? I just read Arclight at the point of infinity, like, last night. We're getting to the point where some of that stuff is starting to happen here. Mr. Braun? Oh. Oh, they're testing the time meet machine. Good job. <laughs> what a beast. What's Luskin in prying? Oh man. Oh my god, wait, they're outside Tokyo Denki. Is this about is it about to go full arc line at the point of infinity? It might be. I just read that last night. <laughs> I read the whole thing in one sitting while my video was rendering. <laughs> oh man. Arc line at the point of infinity was pretty good, by the way. Um uh, I really like this intro song. Super off topic, but I actually convinced my mom to play Steins Gate. I think I might have brought this up in the last episode, but I'm getting her, uh, or I'm getting it for her tomorrow. So she might start as early as tomorrow. Just thought that was super cool. How many of your mothers have played Steins Gate? That's 100% from Arclight at the point of infinity, by the way.
waiting for him out in the rain. This is just like Arclight at the point of infinity so far. Why? They want info from him. Your normie life. Oh man. This is this is just like Arc Light at the point of infinity. It's a bit different. The dialogue here is very different. Not for my Yuri. It doesn't work out best for my Yuri. Oh my god, did they had this exact picture in and he's not gonna care. He doesn't He doesn't care anymore, he's over it. This is oh my god, it's hard right at the point of infinity. This is like, no, it is like following the dialogue so close. That picture was in Arclight at the point of infinity too. Ryan message was it is it from or Ikoboshi had woken up that day what is this who's this from oh right okay that was also in the in the manga Man, he hasn't. He, Luke hasn't done that since like fourth grade or something. Even Luca knows who uh, Ikaboshi is. It's obvious, come on. For my air. It's so much like that manga. <laughs> I love how he's talking into the fan. I love that. Now this bit is a little different, but he's going to notice that banana and then the fried chicken.
Yeah. He, he doesn't want to leave everyone behind. Trying to sneak to the trash can. What is he doing? Oh, you dumb dumb. Uh oh. He's gonna see the chicken. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't even need to. He knows. Gonna be fried chicken and gel nanas. Yo, that's not like a laughing matter to Akabe, bro. This is like straight up PTSD for him. Oh my good. God, Akabe's voice actor's a legend. Terrible timing. Why'd they have to do that, man? He won't stop at anything. And the day's coming up.
Jeez, my I heard this all. Oh no. He has nothing to apologize for. I think that argument's at least much better than it was in the game. In my opinion, that was terrible in the game. I, for me, it was always Okape was so far in the right. He was here, she heard it all. That it is. Here we go. He doesn't know that he killed Karisu. I feel like it's different when your failures involve the death of your friends. I gotta be honest, Maho. I gotta be very honest with you.
Argument's a lot more bearable in the anime to me. I feel like it's just fundamentally different than these examples they're using. Like, oh, it's like when I used to feel inferior to Karisu. Yeah, except maybe if your best friend died every time you felt inferior to Karisu, that'd be the case. I mean, it's not the same. It just isn't. That's that's my opinion. I I just don't see those as equivalent. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the stars. Rayman Hikoboshi. Sega and Altair. The arc light of the point of infinity. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I have to rewatch that. That was That was just too good. I have to. That was Oh my god. Yeah, I'll have some thoughts on this episode here in a second after we re we rewatch this. I know maybe you guys don't want to rewatch it, but oh my god, it was just God, man. This was also an arc light at the point of infinity, by the way. Not the whole scene, just part of it. This was, I think I might have been up to here. That was a little further.
can only protect it. Oh my god, that line. That line hits so hard, man. Vegan Altair, Orihime, and Hikaboshi. Arc Light. Jeez, man. God. You can, he could only protect her for so long. It was kind of inve inevitable that eventually she learned what sacrifices he made. And I think this is going to... I think this is going to be Hokabe's turning point. Where he finally decides, this. yes, it's time. It's go time. Time leap machine. And frankly... Whoa, why do I have 9 plus Discord notifications? What the heck? Jeez. Sorry. Anyways, that was a lot of Discord notifications. Um, um, I mean, it was inevitable that Mayuri learned this eventually, and when she did, it was just going to hurt her so much, right? I think that pain that Mayuri clearly feels and how she doesn't want Okabe to feel like this, right? I think it's going to be uh, the turning point for Okabe, um, and he'll finally decide it's go time, right? Um, and now that he's... I, I think that, like, he'll finally time leap because of this, um, because he doesn't want Myri to feel this pain. And honestly, I think that's a much better motivation than what we got in the game. Although, that's basically actually what it always was. Uh, I just like how they presented it so much more. The way... The way they presented it here was so good. So good. Um, just so good. Um, that scene at the park was... I mean, that was top tier, Steins Gate. Um, you can't really tell me otherwise. Uh, that was just incredible. Um, and I think it's going to make Okabe realize that it's the exact same thing Karisu said, right? When he went back to the Alpha World line. So really, he can't, he, no matter what he chooses, right, between the two, things are going to go awry, right? And somebody will be hurt and wish he would have made the other choice, right? And I think, and they, they both have the same roughly impact on Okabe. So I think we're gonna I think that's why Okabe is gonna be like, you know what? She's right. I have to find Stein's gate. I I think that's very good, right? I love the motivation here. Um it's fairly similar to what it was in the game, but it was presented very differently in the game. Um but about the argument scene, I, I, I don't know if anybody who watched my VN playthrough knows it's no real secret that I didn't like that scene. Um, I thought everybody was way too insensitive um, towards Okabe and not at all realizing what he's been through. And obviously they don't know everything, but he literally spelled it out for them, right? He watched like, he watched so many people die, right? So many people close to him. He watched so much pain and suffering. And now they're saying, just do it again. Yeah, I failed too. Like, I that did not fly for me, right, um, in the BN. Um, I get they had to find some way to wake him up. But that would, I just didn't, I never thought that anybody but Okabe was in the right there. I think in the VN, it's a little more partial, but I, I'm still heavily on Okabe's side. Um... I'm still not sure I can agree with Maho like much at all here. There, I mean, there's some things I can agree with. Uh, agree with like, you know, if it's all 
predestined, we wouldn't have like the choice, right, to change some things. Um, so clearly, we can we can there are infinite possibilities out there. We can change it, right? But the way she's like, oh, I failed too, Ten, thousands, tens of thousands of times next to Karisu. I'm like, so how many times did you directly get one of your best friends killed? Because I can remember for Okabe it was at least like. One, two. I'm counting up. At least like two or three times. And that's not even counting Mayuri. Because if you add Mayuri, it's in literally another like hundred or thousand. Now, not even ex in an exaggeration there. Um, eight. I don't think you saw that every time you failed, you know? There's a, such a big difference between your failures and his failures. I'm sorry. I love you, Maho. But there's just there was just such a big difference. That's just, that scene never it just never hit me the right way. Um I don't know cuz it feels like we're supposed to disagree with Okabe, but I don't. I really don't at all. Um, but I do think it was a bit better in the anime. Um, I don't want to rant too much on that one scene. I thought overall the episode was pretty good, but, um, yeah, those are my thoughts, uh, for that scene. So, all right. Sorry, there's going to be a little jump cut here. Um, I was deciding if I was going to finish up this episode or not. Um, we're going to jump to episode 17, but I think I made my thoughts on that argument pretty clear. That's... Don't get me wrong, I thought it was a great episode, um, and that it's not that I dislike the writing there, I just don't agree with Maho and Dario, really. Um, but I think the fact that tempers are flaring is kind of good, right? They kind of, they, they should be. Um, and I also, I don't disagree with Daru either. They all have their reasons. They all have good reasons. They're not just doing this for fun. So I think both sides are very justified. Right, I'm just saying I don't think that Okabe should be shamed for not making this decision. Right. Um I guess that's where I'm at. Anyways. Let's go ahead and jump into the next episode. Episode 17. I've, I'm betting it's gonna get pretty interesting here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. <laughs> he tried. It's very true. my area she wants to time travel they're gonna time travel and then get blown up that's still happening until now you know about it for the most part now this also happens in Arclight at the point of infinity Super. That was a. It was an arc light at the point of infinity. It was a pretty good manga, by the way. Pretty short. Uh, I guess technically non-canon, or it is non-canon now, because Steins Gate Zero basically took the part like most of arc light at the point of infinity and just threw it in. So.
pretty good read though it's a slightly different perspective um but it's basically like a it's for most of it is like the original version of steins gate zero really if this fly fly how are you alive bro I wonder if you guys can see him on the camera, like, when he's flying around. I guess I just assumed that flies gender. Whenever it's flying around. Yo, shoo, bro. I got a pet fly, I guess. What is it doing? It's like, rubbing its legs together. It looks like it's doing this. It's like, yeah, we got the good stuff today, brother. What if I could, like, get it, like... It's on my hand. No! <laughs> it flew away. <laughs> I almost had a pet fly. <laughs> okay, back to the enemy. Now we get serious. She overheard you guys. Yeah, he's just got depression and PTSD, and he all made light of that. That's literally a fact. No, nope. absolutely not. Well, we know at least Gamma exists, and Steins Gate as well, obviously. No, you had to stop him that one time or he'd never be able to save Karisu. would have failed again. My Hikaboshi had come back to life, you yeah. know?
Oh my god. Can't hide anything from him. Your dad. It's the last day. Deleted from existence. Just eating cake, bro. You know, she's just doing what she has to. But Mary's going with now. Mary's gonna try to commit Star to stop him, but. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even get to read what the message said. I think it was like. Sorry, or something about what happened. Why do you have to tell him? And the war started, phones cut out. There it is. Yeah, he does. I wake up Okabe. That's Cap. Oh my god, that hit, oh no, that's your choice, this is, feels like arc light, 
Oh my god. I don't know what that says. They didn't even translate it. I don't think. Uh, Amadeus mentioned Salieri's, Salieri's neighbor. That's a bit absurd, but... Not gonna work. And I'd plant it into someone else, probably. You gotta get to the building. The way he runs, bro. They're about to get obliterated, bro. Christina 203. Coming with you. This is exactly how it went in Arclight. She's gonna try and wake him up. She's gonna... Is it gonna be exactly like Arclight? She's going to try and wake him up. And Arclight, she called him to do it. Or called Mayuri, excuse me. Told her to wake him up. Dang, he booked it. Oh my god. She's gonna shoot him in the leg.
You got a feel for Okape, man. The one thing he, like, tried to fully keep in this world line. Hey, yo, what was that? Hey, yo, what was that? Who was in the first suit? Are they going to glance over that like it didn't happen? Female. Just going to stall them too long. Ar Operation Arclight. <laughs> How did I not get this? And yet, this is where they get jumped. It's still got to be Kagiri, right? So, what, was it Judy Reyes on the ground dead and Kagiri was the other one? That's my guess. Is that a knife? That was a knife. Diced. She really kept the Glock in there. Dang, it's not even Kagri, it's just Suzuha going off. Kyrie still got to come in, right? Yo, she looked like a stormtrooper there. And then Myri gets hit. Yep. Where did she get hit? And that's gotta be Kagari. Gotta be. Great. It had to have disgraced her. They're not actually gonna just kill her here, right? So. Y'all are dirty. Y'all are dirty for that. Y'all are dirty for that. Y'all are so dirty for that. How could you do that? What the? What a cliffhanger. Y'all are some bums. How could you do that to me? Oh, no. No. Okay. So, here are my thoughts specifically on episode 17. Um, this is 17, right? Very good. Very good episode. Very good episode. First of all, um... Seeing Okabe like so distraught when the thing when Mayuri, the person he worked so hard to save, right? Excuse me. Excuse me. The one he worked so hard to save, right? 
was trying to save him. He was just distraught. He's like, don't, don't ruin this. Like, he, he just, he wanted to pretend nothing was wrong, right? But now people are making sacrifices for him, and this is absolutely going to be what changes him, right? I think this next episode going to be the thousand time leaps. It almost has to be, right? Um, maybe not next episode, but one of these next few episodes has to be a promise from RM. Um, oh, wait, no, it's PR, not RM. Um, PR, promise from whatever. Um, I think that's got to be coming up soon because... I mean, there's six episodes left. At this point, there was an hour left in the game. Roughly. Maybe a little more than that. But not much more. So I think... No, I don't... I don't know if there's six episodes worth left without some big, um... Like... Female or something. Um... or time leap um at least one um i don't know these next six episodes seem like there's going to be so much that could happen um first of all i want to say i love how closely it follows arclight at the point of infinity and how many references there are um that's awesome actually and i mean i literally wouldn't have picked up on this at all if i hadn't read it literally last night um that's awesome to me um Overall, this was a great set of three episodes. Um, 15 was a bit weak. 16 was pretty decent up until the very end when it was, boom, the last like half of that episode maybe. Actually, 16 was just really good. 16 was really good. 17 was amazing. Um, and we've got six episodes to go. It's going to get crazy soon. I mean, it's already gone crazy. It's going to continue to stay crazy. Um, I really, like, I don't know how they're going to spread this out to six episodes. There's got to be some stuff, like, there's some big stuff that's yet to happen. Um, it looks like they've, I mean, they've dropped a few plot lines, which is fine. Like, how important reading Steiner was. Um, the Russia line, the whole Russia line is gone. But I think that's fine. I don't think those are that important in the grand scheme of things. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they still have... Maybe they're going to do Gehenna Stigma? Um, I guess, I mean, that's possible. Um, they still do... Maybe Leskinen's ending, promised Reminiscento, um, and then the real ending where Okabe fixes everything. I don't know. You want to know how I'll figure it out? I'll watch. Um, so I think Isaac and I are planning to play Persona tomorrow, so there shouldn't be another episode tomorrow. Um, probably the day after, although there wasn't supposed to be another episode today either. So stuff happens when it happens. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I feel like I'm not I'm not saying as much here at the end as I normally do, but I feel like I talked talked a lot through the episodes. Um But I mean these were just these were really good episodes. I mean I mean there were some some things. Obviously I had the rant on the argument, but I don't I don't think that argument was bad. Just I feel like it feels too in favor of Maho and Daru. Although it wasn't nearly as bad in the anime, really. There are just a lot of things I disagree with on both sides, I suppose, at the end of the day. Um, which is probably the point of the argument, really. Um, I guess. I don't know. I felt like pointing that out. Um, anyways, I don't really have much else to say, because like I said, uh, 15, not much happened, and then 16 and 17, I talked about a decent amount. 17... Uh, I don't. I just. I don't know how much there is to talk about. It felt really similar so far to what we got in the game. Um, cliffhanger was brutal. Um, 
there are some things I could see setting up for different lighter differences, um, such as mainly the fact that, again, there's six episodes left. I mean, I, there has to be. I mean, maybe all of what's left could fit into six episodes, but it doesn't feel like it could. Um, um, but I think, yeah, I think this episode will be a big part of Okabe's motivations, which is really important. We'll get... I mean, with Mayuri getting hit, um, I don't I don't think she's dead, but either way, I think Kagari's about to go crazy, and I mean, Okabe's going to witness this, but he he's now seen that basically everybody wants him to snap out of this and find Stein's gate, and even that includes Mayuri, so I think he'll do it. I think that's going to be the motivation. Um, well, actually, we know he's going to do it, but I think he'll do it because of that. Um, anyways, like I said really good set of three episodes and the next three and three after that i'm really looking forward to i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode because i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here um probably a shorter conclusion than normal but whatever um uh like i said it's probably persona tomorrow could be steins gate zero i don't know i could even just do both um it's not like i have to do one or the other i just typically do um but Steins Gate Zero should be wrapped up soon. We should be getting on to Linear Bonifenogram soon. And Steins Gate Zero is definitely about to pick up. I hope you guys will continue to watch um, of when you guys watch my videos. Um, it's always nice. Um, and I will see you guys next time whenever you guys come back. Peace.